Winter in New York has been truly awful unless you happen to own a hot yoga studio or a doggy gym. Turns out these people are making bank. Here with the story is WSJ contributor Corinne Ramey. Corinne, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me. What is the weirdest, most surprising place you talked to that said winter has been great for them? I have to say it was Babeland, which is a sex shop. There's four locations here in New York City. And um, their web orders were up 70% that week after Valentine's Day, and it was just super cold, and 70% compared to the previous year. All right, clearly people were enjoying a little bit of indoor activity. So. There were some less risque places that have been hopping, though. All these people are taking their dogs to the dog gym. I, what is a dog gym? A dog gym is, you know, norm, people take their dogs to the outdoor dog park. Well, apparently there's also an indoor dog park in Woodmere in Long Island, they have a 4,000 square foot facility. So if you, you know, don't want to stand outside, you go to the gym. And they pointed out to you that it's not so much that the dogs might. Yeah. I mean, my dog loves snow. Yeah, it's really the humans. They don't want to be outside when it's, you know, under about 30 degrees. Right. And I mean, let's move on from dogs, because if you're a parent and you're living in a New York City apartment, I imagine you must be losing your mind. Your kids must be bouncing off the walls. Where are they going? Um, I had one parent tell me you can only go to the Natural History Museum so many times and so they're trying to find other places. There are, you know, play, play spaces for kids that have drop-in hours. I went to one on the Upper East Side that has a petting zoo downstairs and they have a chinchilla, they have a chicken, they have a lot of rabbits. And so you basically just places. bring your kids and you're like, here you go, like chase some rabbits inside for yeah, a while. Pretty much. Like, I'm going to take a break. And of course, as I'm sure most of us expected, especially in New York, takeout orders just went crazy. How much were these things going up in the, in the really cold days? So on one particular cold day, which was that winter storm Juno, when they predicted the blizzard and then kind of nothing happened, um, during the afternoon hours, order size increased by 45%, and throughout the day, orders increased by order size increased by 12%. People weren't exactly ordering salads, were they? Not really. When pe when it's really cold, what people want to eat is pizza, um, boneless spare ribs, hot chocolate. Cannolis is high on the list for a reason I can't really explain. I don't know. That all sounds delicious. And the good news is they tipped their delivery people more, too, which I feel like is what you have to do when it's like negative 10 degrees. In Absolutely. All right, Corinne, very interesting story. Thanks very much for Thank joining us.